or why don't you be even more brutally honest and tell the world that the majority of the elected officials in this country are initiates in satanic secret society cults which are co-conspirators with no which are pawns of the Vatican to re-establish the Roman Catholic Church's long lost preeminence in this globe. The Bible has already revealed your dishonesty in the book of Revelations chapter 13 and verse 12 where it speaks of the lamb-like beast which is the United States of America exercising all the power of the first beast before it which is the Roman Catholic Church, the papacy and causes all the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast, the papacy whose deadly wound was healed. Why don't you tell the people that this act has been set in place preparatory for the union of church and state in America to persecute those who will keep the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ when the Vatican makes sure that Sunday legislation is mandatory in our country for it is the mark of their church's authority not of God's for it can be found nowhere in this holy world why don't you let the people know that truth and that there is no presidential candidate that can save their soul. The only person that they can turn to now is Jesus Christ. And whether we like it or not, whether you like it or not, the truth is the truth. Our cross is in life. Exactly, you know? that's true. So that's true. At the moment, I have uh, the cross of nicotine, uh, at least uh, until I don't accomplish partially my mission. Okay, well, we're going to gain uh, victory over that cross. If I get back my son, maybe I stop smoking. Uh, yeah. Or yeah. if I get back my family, that would be great. You know? Well, stop smoking and then you'll get everything back. Obedience <laughs> comes <laughs> Obedience comes first. Oh, <laughs> Rane. <laughs> All right, let's put it. You know what it is, man. But um, okay, let's let's uh, let's talk about. Let me ask you a question. I want to ask you this: What um, what role does the uh, Clinton family play in the New World Order? Um, you know what what titles does Hillary hold? I mean, uh, what secret societies is, is she a part yeah, of? Is she involved in a uh, satanic occult worship herself? Yeah, she's also very much into shamanism. Huh? Shamanism, you say? Yeah. Shamanism. Yeah. Okay. You know any you know any details on that or? Healed by the shaman, uh -huh. but uh, no, uh, Hillary is a very manipulative person. She is not really. Uh, I think she is the classical sad satanist that doesn't believe Satan exists, and for that reason, she's even more possessed by Satan than anybody else. What you just said is a reality. The moment Satan makes you believe he doesn't exist, he has accomplished his bigger, biggest mission. What you're saying is exactly what I say. Those possessed with devils are usually represented as being in a condition of great suffering. Yet, there were exceptions to this rule. For the sake of obtaining supernatural power, some welcomed the satanic influence. These, of course, had no conflict with the demons. Of this class were those who possessed the spirit of divination, Simon Magus, Elimus, the sorcerer, and the damsel who followed Paul and Silas at Philippi. None are in greater danger from the influence of evil spirits than are those who, notwithstanding the direct and ample testimony of the scriptures, deny the existence and agency of the devil and his angels. So long as we are ignorant of their wiles, they have almost inconceivable advantage. Many give heed to their suggestions while they suppose themselves to be following the dictates of their own wisdom. This is why, as we approach the close of time, when Satan is to work with greatest power to deceive and destroy, he spreads everywhere the belief that he does not exist. It is his policy to conceal himself and his manner of working. There is nothing that the great deceiver fears so much as that we shall become acquainted with his devices. The better to disguise his real character and purposes, he has caused himself
yourself to be so represented as to excite no stronger emotion than ridicule or contempt. He is well pleased to be painted as a ludicrous or loathsome object, misshapen and animal and half human. He is pleased to hear his name used in sport and mockery by those who think themselves intelligent and well informed. Great controversy. Page 516 and 517. <laughs> what about Obama? Do you know of any connections that Obama has? Does he have any affiliation with uh, any of these? Uh... Hillary, Hillary Clinton is also a member of the Bilderberg. Right. CFR, right. National Foreign Relations member. She says she's not a Bilderberger, but she is. She says she's a CFR. She also says she's a CFR because that's official. And, and as well as Obama, they're both Council of Foreign Relations. Council of Foreign Relations uh, is a creation of the Trilateral Pact. So it's Israel, Britain, uh, and USA. Uh, the New World Order that they ushered up uh, together with the Vatican is uh, under the control of people like Henry Kissinger or uh, people like Rockefeller. All the Rothschilds uh, were still very influential in the CFR. Now, there is part of the Rothschild family that prefers Hillary and part of uh, the establishment, even within certain families like the Rockefeller, who is starting to wonder if Hillary is the right choice. So we have Obama as a very important candidate because Obama represents also Prince Hall Freemasonry that is trying to get accepted in a wider manner in the last few years since recognition from the United Geologists of England. You said Obama's trying to get recognition for priest, Prince Hall Freemasonry. Yeah, because uh, Prince Hall Freemasonry is already since the last... Um, is, he eight, is he initiating Prince Hall Freemasonry? Yes, yes, yes. He's, uh, he's now apparently been... Uh, uh, receiving the 33 degree honorary title uh, in Washington at the end of last year. For Prince Hall Freemasonry, Freemasonry, uh, Obama's a 33rd degree Prince Hall Freemason. Yeah. Wow. At that time I said he was a 32 because I knew he was a 32 because a Prince Hall Freemason had, who had been in lodge with him talking. Okay. But uh, now he's apparently even a 33. Well, uh, no wonder because obviously is about to become either president or vice president and that means he has to take on board certain responsibilities uh, if he wants to arrive to that position of power. Uh, the Prince of Freemasonry, as I said, wants to get wider recognition. Uh, he's starting to uh, get the official recognition. Not all Prince of Grand Lodges do in the United States, but five or six of them, I think, have already got the recognition of the United Grand Lodge of England. That means that they are subject directly to the cousin of the Queen of England, who is the Duke of Kent. So, and the Mark Masons are subject to instead the brother of the Duke of Kent, Michael of Kent.